Section 35 of The Natural History, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by J. Martin. The Natural History, Volume 1, by Pliny the Elder, translated by John Bostock and Henry Thomas Riley. Section 35. Chapter 40. The Hellespont and Mycia. The tide of the Hellespont now begins to run with greater violence, and the sea beats against the shore, undermining with its eddies the barriers that stand in its way, until it has succeeded in separating Asia from Europe. At this spot is the promontory which we have already mentioned as Trapeza, ten miles distance from which is the city of Abydos, where the straits are only seven stadia wide. Then the town of Procote, Lampascus, at first called Petusa, the colony of Parium, which Homer calls by the name of Adrestia, the town of Priapos, the river Esepus, Zelia, and then the Propontis, that being the name given to the tract of sea where it enlarges. We then come to the river Granicus, and the harbor of Arctes, where a town formerly stood. Beyond this is an island which Alexander joined to the continent, and upon which is Cyzesus, a city of the Miletians, which was formerly called Arctanesus, Deleonis, and Dindemus. Above it are the heights of Mount Dindemus. We then come to the town of Plechia, Arikai, and Skyles in the rear of which places is Mount Olympus, known as the Mycian Olympus, and the city of Olympina. There are also the rivers Horesius and Rhinotcus, formerly called the Lycus. This last river rises in Lake Artinius, near Miltopolis, and receives the Masetos and many other streams, dividing in its course Asia from Bithynia. This country was at first called by the name of Cronus, after that, Thessalus, and then Milianda, and Strymonis. The people of it are by Homer called Halazones, from the fact that it was a nation begirt by the sea. There was formerly a vast city here, Atusa by name. At present, there are twelve cities in existence, among which is Gordiacome, otherwise Juliopolis, and on the coast, Descolos. We then come to the river Galbes, and in the interior the town of Helgas, or Germanicopolis, which has also the other name of Bescaite. Apamea, now more generally known as Merlia of the Colophonians, the river at Thelius, also the ancient boundary of Troas, and the commencement of Mycia. Next to this comes the gulf, into which the river Ascanus flows the town of Barillion, and the rivers Hylaeus and Sios, with the town of the same name as the last-mentioned river. It was founded by the Milesians at a place which was called Ascania of Phrygia, as an entrepot for the trade of the Phrygians who dwelt in the vicinity. We may therefore look upon this as not an eligible opportunity for making further mention of Phrygia. Chapter 41. Phrygia Phrygia lies above Troas, and the people already mentioned as extending from the promontory of Lectum to the river Ethelus. On its northern side it borders upon Galatia. On the south it joins Lyconia, Pisidia, and Mygadonia, and on the east it touches upon Cappadocia. The more celebrated towns there, besides those already mentioned, are Acteria, Andrea, Selene, Colossae, Serena, Cotaion, Sarine, Conium, and Midium. There are authors who say that the Mosi, the Bigri, and the Thyni crossed over from Europe, and that from them are descended the peoples called the Mysi, Phrygais, and Bithyni. Chapter 42 Galatia and the Adjoining Nations on this occasion also it seems that we ought to speak of Galatia, which lies above Phrygia, and includes the greater part of the territory taken from that province, as also its former capital, Gordium. The Gauls who have settled in these parts are called the Tolistobogi, the Volturi, and the Ambituti. 
Those who dwell in Maonia and Paphlagonia are called the Trocini. Cappadocia stretches along to the northeast of Galatia, its most fertile parts being possessed by the Tectosages and the Tutobodiaci. These are the nations by which those parts are occupied, and they are divided into peoples and tetrarchies, 195 in number. Its towns are among the Tetosages, Anecra, among the Tracomi, Tabium, and among the Tolistobogi, Pessinus. Besides the above, the best known among the peoples of this region are the Actolenses, the Aracenses, the Comenses, the Didenses, the Hirorenses, and the Lestrini, the Neapolitani, the Edensus, the Seleucensus, the Celestoni, the Timoniensenses, and the Thebassini. Galatia also touches upon Carbalia and Pamphylia, and the Meli about Baris, also upon Salanticum and Oroandicum, a district of Pisidia, and Aubazine, a part of Lyconea. Besides those already mentioned, its rivers are the Sangarius and the Galus, from which last the priests of the Mother of the Gods have taken their name. Chapter 23. Bithynia. And now, as to the remaining places on this coast, on the road from Sias into the interior is Prussia, in Bithynia, founded by Hannibal at the foot of Olympus, at a distance of twenty-five miles from Nicaea, Lake Ascanius lying between them. We then come to Nicaea, formerly called Obia, and situate at the bottom of the Ascanian Gulf, as also a second place called Prussia at the foot of Mount Hypius. Pythopolis, Paranthopolis, and Corfantia are no longer in existence. Along the coast we find the rivers Isaeus, Baraeson, Platanus, Arius, Asyros, Gidos, also called Crassororus, and the promontory upon which once stood the town of Megaris. The gulf that here runs inland received the name of Craspodites from the circumstance of that town lying, as it were, upon its skirt. A stacum also formerly stood here, from which the same gulf has received the name of the Astacinian. The town of Libisa formerly stood at the spot where we now see nothing but the tomb of Hannibal. At the bottom of the gulf lies Nicomedia, a famous city of Bithynia, then comes the promontory of Lucatus, by which the Astacenian Gulf is bounded, and thirty-seven miles distance from Nicomedia. And then, the land again approaching the other side, the straits which extend as far as the Thracian Bosporus. Upon these are situate Chalcedon, a free town sixty-two miles from Nicomedia, formerly called Proserastus, then Calpusa, and after that, the city of the blind, from the circumstance that its founders did not know where to build their city, Byzantium being only seven stadia distant, a site which is preferable in every respect. In the interior of Bithynia are the colony of Apamia, the Agrippenses, the Juliopolite, the Bithynion, the rivers Serum, Lafius, Farnasius, Alcus, Serenis, Loeus, Scopius, and Hyerus, which separates Bithynia from Galatia. Beyond Chalcedon formerly stood Chrysopolis, and then Nicopolis, of which the gulf upon which stands the port of Amicus still retains the name. Then the promontory of Nalocum and Istai, a temple of Neptune. We then come to the Bosphorus, which again separates Asia from Europe, the distance across being half a mile. It is distant twelve miles and a half from Chalcedon. The first entrance of this strait is eight miles and three-quarters wide, at the place where the town of Spiropolis formerly stood. The Thyni occupy the whole of the coast, the Bithyni the interior. This is the termination of Asia, and of the two hundred and eighty-two peoples that are to be found between the Gulf of Lycia and this spot. We have already mentioned the length of the Hellespont and Propontis to the Thracian Bosphorus as being two hundred and thirty-nine miles, from Calidon to Sigum, 
Isidorus makes the distance three hundred and twenty-two and one-half. Chapter 44, The Islands of the Propontis The islands of the Propontis are before Zyzicus, Elephonesis, from which comes the Cyzican marble. It is also known by the names of Norris and Proconesis. Next comes Ophiusa, Acanthus, Phoebe, Scopelos, Porphyrone, Halone, with a city of that name, Delphatia, Polydora, and Artacion with its city. There is also, opposite to Nicomedia, Demonosis, and beyond Herculea, and opposite to Bithynia, the island of Thaneus, by the barbarians called Bithynia, and the island of Antiocha, and at the mouth of the Rhinodacus, Bespicos, eighteen miles in circumference, the islands also of Alea, the two called Rodusai, and those of Erebinthus, Megale, Chalcetus, and Pitiodes. Summary Towns and nations spoken of, noted rivers, famous mountains, islands, 118 in number. People or towns no longer in existence, remarkable events, narratives, and observations. Roman authors quoted Agrippa, Sectonius, Paulinus, M. Varro, Varro, Atacinus, Cornelius, Nepos, Hyginus, Elvetus, Mila, Domitius, Carbulo, Lucinius, Macanus, Claudius Caesar, Arudius, Livrus the Son, Sebosus, the Register of the Triumphs. Foreign authors quoted King Juba, Hecatius, Hellenicus, Damastis, Diarchus, Betun, Timosthenes, Philonides, Xenagoras, Astinomus, Staphyleus, Aristoteles, Aristocritus, Dionysus, Ephorus, Aristothenus, Hipparchus, Panateus, Serapion of Antioch, Callimachus, Agathocles, Polybius, Timaeus the Mathematician, Herodotus, Mercilus, Alexander Polyhistor, Metrodorus, Poseidonius, who wrote the Periplus, and the Perigesus, Soltades, Periander, Aristarchus of Sicon, Zeudorus, Antiogenes, Callicrates, Xenophon of Lampsacrus, Diodorus of Syracuse, Hanno, Emilco, Nifordorus, Caliphanes, Artemidorus, Megasthenes, Isidorus, Cleobulus, and Aristocreon. End of section 35. Recording by J. Martin. End of the Natural History, Volume 1 of Pliny the Elder, translated by John Bostock and Henry Thomas Riley.